All right, hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how I install ICA 2L1 on my Windows 11 PC. How we add a phone like the Nokia 5320, add Engage 2.0, and add games like Medical Solve Mobile and Resident Evil Degeneration. First, of course, you need ICA 2L1. Simply go to the GitHub here, then check out the latest releases. And over there, we need the Windows x86 or 64 zip file. Once we have that, we can just double click it here to open. We'll make a new folder here. Let's see, R2L1. Open it up. Back everything in there. And now I'm already good to go. I'm going to use the ecard2l1 underscore qt.exe. I'm going to right click it. Show me more options. If you don't have that. Create shortcut. I'm going to paste the shortcut here over on my desktop. From here, we're going to open the app. And as it says, you have not installed any device. Then there's a lot more info on the wiki and of course the Discord server as well. How to get the software, how to get games. The project does a lot of work in that regard. I will not share anything in the description down below. Please seek it out yourself via the wiki or the Discord. In any case, you can open it up and here already comes in the device install wizard. We're going to go with the installation method, which is just the device dump, the RPK and ROM. And we do have that already on our desktop. So what I can do is I can just drag this ROM here, drop it here. So what I can do is we're going to start with the ROM. We're going to go browse. I'm going to go to my desktop. And there it is, the file. And the RPKG, same thing. Send it here. And hit install. And then in the background, it goes on and makes this phone a system that you can use in this emulator. So this emulator is just a box to emulate multiple phones. And as we see here, the device Nokia 5320D has been successfully installed. So, when we boot it again, we can now actually launch here this phone. The next thing we need is also to install the app, the Engage Store. So, for that, we go here to install and package. And we see already here on my desktop, the Engage 2.0 has been pre selected. As it has been just successfully installed, pops out here now as games. And just by single clicking here already, it opens up the Engage Store. Before we go and install games, let's first set up the controls. Simply open the emulator and go to control and go to the button mapping editor. Here we can see the basic layout of the old phones, where all the numbers, of course, are mapped to the numbers. And what you can do as well is the up and down, left and right can be mapped as well. There is no profile installed yet, so we're going to add a new one. We're going to just call this, in my case, Xbox 360, although I'm playing on Xbox Series Pad. The idea is it's using the Xbox 360 data. And they're going to go and install all the things that I want. So up is up, down is down, left is left, right is right. The left soft key, you can use whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to just put it to X. The right one to triangle. Green one, A. The red one, circle. Games often also use the middle soft key as confirmation. So you're going to experiment with the game you like and use that. I'm going to just use my right stick input because I don't know yet what my game will use as input. And I personally like to go into each game and make custom profiles per game. Sometimes it's just easier if I play on a model controller to first play the game myself and then note where I want to have my inputs be done. You can already do this yourself, but of course you have it already here, ready to go. As we can see now here in the engage system, I can go left and right, up and down. I press the middle button, which in my case is right stick. Now it also goes in here. But how do we get our games like Metal Gear Solid Mobile or Resident Evil Degeneration now into the emulated phone? Before that, we're going to go into our folder where our ECAL install is. I'm going to go to Data, Drives, E, and here, if it's not already there, make a new folder called Engage. Now, because we already booted the game and booted Engage, it's already made here. And for that, we can now simply drag and drop the games in here. Close the folder and start your emulator again. And now when you go to games, we see here just by opening the Engage store, it immediately goes in and installs these games. Now on the first time, you actually have to just confirm here that you want to install this. So here it's actually now preparing the game. And it may happen that at this point, the emulator crashes, which ical 2 l one is actually very prone to. And we restart it again and it should have already been successfully installed. 
So you can see here now, Medical Soap Mobile is actually not grayed out anymore, and it works. And normally, if it does work correctly with the installation, you can also immediately play it. I'm going to install the second game here. Now it says installation complete correctly. I'm going to cancel it. And now you can see. The cool thing about the emulator is that you can also turn the game sideways for horizontal gaming and still have easy access to your controls. So let's boot up my console mobile here and check it out how it actually works in game. And then I'm going to show you how to turn the game. As we see here, we can also turn the sound off if you want to. And any key basically confirms that we just want to play the game. I'm going to cancel here. Now under options, you can see here you can change the volume as well. I highly recommend you put the volume up all the way to the maximum because the game is very quiet normally. But for us here, what we want to have is device rotation. This here, if we just rotate it to the side, you can see that it actually rotates over. Now, unfortunately, the device right now is only rotating upside down or in vertical mode. What we can do though is in the emulator itself, we go here under view, rotate screen, 90, and we see that the game is now looking sideways. It's basically as if we are rotating the phone itself. So now that I just rotated the phone, that actually works horizontal. I'm going to go view and rotate until it fits here. In my case, this is rotate to the left, rotate screen here in the settings of the emulator to 180. Now I got just return and now I can play the game also sideways. You need to apply your settings one more time and that's it. Now you can play actually Metal Soft Mobile like this in horizontal mode. Now you can go around and play with the emulation here. I, for example, noticed that left and right have been swapped here because the phone has been actually rotated by 180 degrees here. Then we have up and down. You can see here in this uh, input, I go up, and I actually go down, I press down, I go up, left and right. So these have been swapped. I can now very simply here, go in the settings, on control, button, met, editor, if it actually opens. Does no open, open, maybe I need to reset it. As I said, sometimes you just have to restart the emulator. That's basically fine. I'm going to go control, button mapping editor. I'm going to go left and input right. I'm going to right arrow and input left. And same with the other ones. Up, I go down. Down, I go up. Open games again. And as you can see here, after the code call, we go left and right, and it actually works as expected. Now, again, the rest is up to you here. Codec button is set currently to my square. And it also actually opens here a menu in game. So it's more than just a codec. Triangle is also my uh, weapons menu here. And by the way, for this weapon menu, if you go left, you go here to the item or equipment menu. So there's no distinct buttons in order to open your weapon or equipment menu directly in this game. But you know, that's beside the point. Other than that, the main thing you can do here is also confirm with the main or middle button. This game technically can be played with just the directional buttons and the three buttons. You gotta know one more thing. The number zero actually is first person view in Medical Soul Mobile. So say for example you're playing Medical Soul 2 a lot, where first person view is R1, maybe you want to set it to that button. So go here, zero, I tap in R1. And because I want to have my middle soft key being the active button, I'm gonna put this to square or X. The left soft key, of course, is already in use here. And because the coded button is normally here on select on Xbox, I'm going to put in the button back. And the button here to open the menus, I'm just going to go to my right trigger. I think this feels the most natural for me here. As you can see here, I press R1, goes into FPV, tap it again, it goes back. I tap the right trigger, opens my inventory or weapons menu. And if I press select here, it opens up the menu, such as the codec. Be aware if you like it like this, your return is now also now right trigger. So this is, well, maybe this is not ideal for you. The alternative would be to go in and use control and instead of right soft key being the right trigger, actually just set it to start. So it feels a little bit closer to what the phone would look like. The middle soft key being the one that you confirm with, that is on X here. The left soft key being the button back and the right soft key being the button start. So if we play like this here, just press square here in order to skip. I can skip here to codex like this move over and just press X basically. You can set it of course to any button you want. You can also set it to A on Xbox or X for PlayStation. And then feel free to experiment and play with the game. That's what the emulator definitely allows for you. And that's a short tutorial how to install eCard 2L1 and play around with Metal Gear Solid Mobile, for example, in horizontal gameplay. Hope you have fun and enjoy the games.